In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to calculate a frequency distribution for a categorical variable. These are variables that are either nominal or ordinal in nature. I'll also demonstrate some graphing options that are available to help illustrate observed distributions. Now, frequency distributions in state are accomplished by using the tabulate command, or tab for short. However, there are three variations of the tabulate command in Stata. I'll also be showing you a user-written command called FRE that I think is the easiest to use. I'll demonstrate these commands using these three variables. I've codebooked health, which is an ordinal variable of self-reported health, happy, another ordinal variable of self-reported happiness, and eth race, a nominal variable for race and ethnicity. The first version of the tabulate command, and I'm simply going to use the shortened version tab, is simply tab and then a single variable. This provides a frequency distribution for a single variable. Now note, if I use that simple command tab, f raise, and included another variable, I'd get a cross tabulation. And if I tried to introduce a third variable, I'd get an error message. So if you're simply trying to get a frequency distribution for a single variable, the tab command will work. But what if you want to get a frequency distribution for a series of variables and you don't want to have to run the same command over and over again? That brings us to the second version of the tabulate command, which is simply tab1, and then include your various variables. What this does is it takes the list of variable names and issues a tabulate command separately for each of them, and we'll see that here. Now there's also a user written command called FRE that allows you to do the same thing as the tab1 command, but provides additional information, including the number of observations with missing values. In other words, FRE offers a substitute for both tab and tab1. Here I'll go ahead and type in FRE, F race, and health. And you can see the two different frequency distributions, but notice some differences. First, the FRE command includes both the value labels, but also the numeric values. That's different from the tab commands. You get the same frequency distribution, and you also get two different forms of the percent. The first percent is calculated on the entire sample, including those with missing values. The valid column includes only those with an actual value on the variable. In short, if you're looking to do frequency distributions for a single variable or multiple variables, I recommend using the FRE command. Now there is a third variation of the tabulate command called tab2. And what this does is it takes a list of variables and issues the tab command separately for each possible pair of variables in the list. In other words, it simply runs a series of cross tabulations for every possible pairing of variables in the list. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in my three variables. You can see that we've got a cross tabulation for every possible pairing that I've included. One could go a step further, throw in a comma, chi, and v, and it would calculate a Pearson's chi-squared and a Kramer's v statistic for every possible pairing. In addition to conducting a frequency distribution for a nominal or ordinal variable, we may opt to graph the distribution. We have two primary graphing options, a pie chart or a bar graph which is actually more easily created in Stata using the histogram function. To start, let's create a bar graph or histogram to demonstrate the distribution of respondents by health status based on their percentage of the sample. To do so, go to Graphics, and instead of Bar Chart, select Histogram. In the variable, we'll simply insert our variable health. I like to actually leave data are continuous checked, even though we could check data are discrete. I simply find that the graph works better that way. You may find in some cases that you need to change that. Leave the bins untouched, I would suggest going to bar properties and in bar width setting it to 0.8. Otherwise your bars tend to be really skinny. Go ahead and hit accept. And in the y-axis, we want it to indicate percent of the sample. Now here's where you'd want to go up to the top of your window here and select some of these tabs. For example, on the x-axis, you may want to actually include value labels instead of simply the numeric values for each response category. So you'd go to Major Tick Label Properties, select Labels, and tell it to use value labels. I realize that a lot of this is hard to remember, and graphing is one of those cases where you simply have to kind of explore and play around. You can also include titles, so you might want to call this Graph 1 Self-Reported Health, and you can also tell it to show a legend. Let's go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to expand this. Now we'd select Start Graph Editor. And here's where we can start to change things. If you wanted to increase the size of your title, just simply click on it once. 
and switch it from large to huge. If I want to change this label down here, simply click on it once and replace this text and hit return. And I can also increase the distance between that label in these categories. And we may opt to get rid of the legend here, simply highlight it and hide it. So that's how you play around with the graph. And then when you're done, you simply select Stop Graph Editor. And it'll ask if you want to save the changes you've made. Go ahead and say yes. The other thing you can do at this point is right click, copy, and insert it into a Word document. We'll close out that graph. Now the other option with categorical variables is to do a pie chart. Here you'd go to graphics and pie chart. In the category variable, we'd simply put health, leave as graph by categories. And we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. Let me expand that and go into graph editor. And here's where we could you know, insert some titles. So if I wanted to insert a title, I'd simply click on title, double click, and graph two, pie chart of self-rated health, hit OK. If we wanted to actually include the numeric values in here, we'd simply go to the left here and add text click in this slice, and I'm just going to make up some numbers here, but they correspond to the frequency distribution, let's say 25.2%. And if I wanted to move that around, just go back, click on my pointer, and move it wherever I wanted. Let's say I wanted to explode out this red piece of the pie. Simply click on it, right click, pie slice properties, and you can go ahead and explode the slice, hit apply to see what that would look like, hit OK. So that's how you go about calculating frequency distributions and illustrating those distributions in graph form. Hope it's helpful.